Welcome to Thursday Review Day. So we're going to take a look at um, another book. This one is The Billionaire's Christmas Miracle, I guess. So this is my third, I think third or fourth one in the Billionaire's series. Um, so I'm going to read a couple of these. The first one is from Sandy H. This one says, I really enjoy Lorena Hope's writing and this book is no exception. This one is a Cinderella type story from the very beginning. The story of a teacher who grew up in a foster home and a privileged billionaire who didn't realize what he was missing in life from everyday experiences to faith. Wonderful, heartwarming story. Good to see faith incorporated in the plot. Okay, so again, super simple review, um, but great. This one I really love. Uh, this one is from Anne, and it says, this is the first time I've read a book by this author, but it won't be the last. I guarantee you, if you write even just a simple review like that on your favorite author's page, when it's, you know, obviously the first book that you've read, um, it's great. If you like clean, no bad language, and well-written stories, you will enjoy this book. This book was full of betrayal and class snobbery, but it was also full of hope, love, and forgiveness. I enjoyed reading it and hope others do as well. Okay, so not only does she talk about how she liked it so much that it's, you know, she's going to read more, but then she talks about the um, the fact that it's clean, there's no bad language, because there's never any in my books, um, and a well-written storyline, which is really great. Okay, um, one more. Uh, okay, we'll read this one because it's kind of interesting. So uh, DRP6149 says, Gwen masquerades as her friend Callie so that Callie can do something else. She meets a mysterious man, then is enjoying the party when she sees someone and jumps up and quickly leaves. Drew has to find her and the story starts with a bang. It's full of surprises, accidents, and intrigue. It will keep you reading one or two more pages and then you will suddenly be at the end. Like a lot of Lorena Hoops's books, I would love a sequel to this telling the next portion of their life. Okay, so that's like the biggest thing I get is like, I want more from your stories, which is always something that I plan to do, but you know, time. So um, one thing I want to say before we end for today is when you're leaving critical reviews, like I'm not saying you always have to leave glowing reviews. I will say that as somebody who does this, this is their livelihood. Like if you're just leaving critical reviews about... um the fact that it's not your type of story, that really actually like hurts the authors because there isn't anything they can do about that, right? Not every story is going to be your type of story. Um, but if you're leaving stuff like, you know, there was a ton of grammatical errors or the story fell flat, like those are helpful reviews. One thing that's super not helpful though is when you just write like a one star, like I have a one star in one of my books and it says, I'm so glad it's clean. I don't even know how to fix that. So if you're going to leave a negative review, explain why. All right. See you later, guys.